Hey, in US history class, did you learn about public universal friend? If not, you should have. Born to Quaker parents in Rhode Island in 1776, ironically the year that our country starts emerging into its new identity, they also emerged into a new identity, changing their name now to Public Universal Friend and getting rid of all gendered pronouns, basically saying that they are genderless, what we'd probably today call non-binary. And they started preaching about like this new way of life and they started preaching about free will and the ability to like choose kind of your own and develop your own identity. Also, you know, abolition of slavery and abstinence. A lot of especially women and what people would now call non-binary people in New England started following their preachings and essentially deciding that they wanted to shun like sexuality, essentially be asexual and in turn spend their time like working on the community and working towards like bettering society. Just a friendly reminder that all these conversations that we're having right now about gender and sexuality are not new. We're just having them and hearing about them more because we can be more open about it. So happy Pride.